on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. When it comes to the whole uh, high speed car chase, when it comes to the kidnapping of, you know, Momo Yairozu, Izuku, he first starts on foot but decides to summon mayhem. In which, not only is he faster, but he also gets to shoot out the tires of the kidnappers. Calling him skid down the highway and crash. Everyone's worried that Momo is hurt. But this is when one of the kidnappers just shows up and Izuku shoots him just as he points a gun to Momo's head. Then he clearly kills all the others. Her running right up to him and thanking him. Right now he has a mask on. He has his mask. And he's wearing his usual cloak as well as Mayhem being, you know, scary as hell looking. She's looking at him as, thank you. Yeah. Goodbye. Wait, wait who, who are you? My name is Zoo. <clears throat> what? Roland. Roland. Can I put a face to the name? No. Her just having a slight smirk as she's creates a grappling hook and snatches off Izuku's mask. It disappearing as soon as it pulled off. As Izuku is looking, he's like, you... Huh. What? What's wrong with my... Izuku looking into the mirror of the car and is like, What the hell? He looks different. Him in his mind is like, wait, I can shape shift. Are you serious? I've been all doing all this stupid sneaking around, trying not to cause any suspicions, but I can shape shift. This makes my plan. This makes my plan so much more easy. This is all his mind, so right now he's just staring into the nothingness of space. Momo was just trying to get his attention, like, uh, uh, excuse me, my savior, uh, something wrong here. I was like, uh, oh, <clears throat> no, not at all. You sure? Because you look kind of distracted. No, no, nah, I'm good. Really? I guess you are. We're getting him back on our cheek and like, <laughs> uh, you don't even know how old I am, kid. How old are you? Fifteen. That's what I thought. As yes, that is pretty much how that whole exchange ends. But not before Mr. Ayrozu shows up and he's, he's pissed, but he's like, <clears throat> and you must be the father. Yes. I would like to thank you personally for saving my daughter. Well, I accept cash. I'll call you sometime. But you don't have my number. I'll find you. Hmm. Well, that's not ominous. Wait. How about this? What if I hire you? Excuse me? Yeah, I could hire you. You see, my daughter is recently enrolled in the one such UA high school. For heroes? Is that a little dangerous for your little princess? Oh, believe me, I know. But for some reason, she just wants to be a hero. So. You need to learn how to say no you're a kid, that's how they get spoiled. And spoiled brats are nothing but a pain in the ass. I couldn't agree more. But still. Hmm. 
either way. What else do you want besides my services? That's all. Since you are her age, I see it's beneficial for you to be enrolled as well if you're going to guard her. Really? Yes. I see no real problem with it. At the moment, that is. <laughs> okay. Okay, fine. Have a deal. Them shaking on it. As, yes, this is how Izuku's plan pretty much started really cooking with gas. <laughs> for one hand, yes, he's getting paid for this. On the other hand, ugh, so many complicated things have been remedied thanks to him learning that, oh yeah, I got, I can shape shift, I can change anything of my body and it's still me me just a different me so this plan keeps going further than he really anticipated me able to go in and out of the Yairo's household as well as huh, learn more about their dealings how mainly because he's learned not only can he shape shift he can create clones of himself. Learning this, all he has to do is impersonate a guard or two, someone who has higher clearance than his current alias, and yes, try to find out where's this money coming from and where's it going, what is he using it for, and all that goodness. But how about this? Let us get to the one, the only USJ. Yeah, I'm doing it way ahead of time, especially considering Bakugo is still a kid here. So, when you really think about it, yeah. When it comes to the USJ, Izuku, he's already just thinking, okay, so what? Uh, hero training and all this nonsense. Uh, him getting to know Momo, but like he's still confused. Like, why would you want to be a hero? Her giving this whole backstory, how she feels about this and that and yada yada yada, but still thinking like, okay, hmm, interesting. You could have been a spoiled rich girl, but you're willing to risk your life for complete strangers. Why I met you before, we could have been very good friends. Before? Before what? If we're not friends? Why not? Uh, calm your jets, woman. Uh, if anything, yes, we are close. But as far as friends, uh, right now... You're just the daughter of my employer. You're... No. I am your employer. No, you're more like a client. Or a charge that I've been sent to protect. You really think he's paying you? Well, yes. No, no. I'm paying you. What? So you're not... No, I'm not relying on my dad's money. Really? So you're paying me out of your own pocket. Mm-hmm. Being honest, your timing is perfect. Really? Yeah. I mean, true... I probably could have gotten myself out of that situation before, but... <laughs> Listen... If I... Don't try to make this more than it really is. Regardless if you're paying me or your dad's paying me, I still have a job to do. Protect your ass. Hmm. 
Yeah. I guess you're right about that. But it doesn't mean we can't get to know each other better. The less I know about you, the better right now. Why are you being so, so rude? Because I am just an employee right now. And right now, I have to worry about your safety and I don't like being stared at. Well, it's not my fault you lose. Not by you, woman. Him just pointing at the other students because they're still on the bus. Or... So you like an audience? What the hell with you? Whatever. Her just sitting back down. Everyone's like, wow. Did you just turn around? One of the prettiest girls no, in imagination land, pretty much. This is my comrade and self speaking. But it's like, wow. I can't believe you actually did that. Even Momo's pride is hurt to a certain extent. It's like, that has never happened before. I've never been rejected, technically. Especially in such a rude way. Her actually getting more interested, you could say, when it comes to Izuku. Hmm. But, the villain attack. This is actually before All Might really took his little job thing, you know. The, Pretty much uh, before his whole incident with you know who. So when he does show up, he's not a teacher. Nezu just called him just in case. And Nomu has already been killed by Izuku because he's right now the only one actually cleared to use weapons, guns, and specifically. Shigaraki is pissed. At this for one he's not the boss here if anything he's pretty much just an observer but he wanted to see what this thing could do he wanted to really okay so what you're saying here is this kid is able to kill the all might killing weapon them have no choice but to leave, so when All Might gets there, everything's already been wrapped up, and Izuku has killed several villains. Him getting slightly reprimanded by Izawa, but not so much, considering he's actually, uh, what's the best word? Teacher's assistant. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, he's a teacher's assistant, yes. <laughs> no? Yes, that happened. You're quite welcome. I have so much other things planned for this. Now, now, where was I? Ah, yes. Let us get to the whole... So, what you're saying is someone killed my Nomu. Without hesitation. He just pointed and shoot, shoot it. What? Yeah, that look on his, in his eyes. It's like he really didn't care. Did you? Did he possibly know that it wasn't? If he did or didn't, either way, it doesn't matter. Because he cut down several other villains. Again, with no hesitation. It's like he killed before. And just is numb to it. At least when it comes to taking a life. Really? That's interesting. Let me take a look at those uh, video files, would you? 
as he is. All the ones looking at this, he's looking at the way he's, he's fighting. He's looking at him summoning mayhem as it just plows through other villains and then tramples them. As then he notices something familiar. A smirk. The feeling of pure euphoria that he can easily see that's plastered on Izuku's face. He's enjoying this. What? What are you talking about? He's enjoying killing each and every one of those villains. That's why he has no hesitation. I only saw this with one other person. Really? Yeah, but he's dead. Looks nothing like this guy. Interesting. As yes, we have a flashback to when Izuku was still young as well as not strife. As yes, there was a sit down between him the Yakuza and Alpha One. This pretty much being like, okay, so this could give me a lot of money. I can get some trigger. I can get all this shit. There's some manpower, more guns, everything I need to make this so much more better and stronger. Only thing is, they didn't like the thought of being in, on equal footing with a kid. So they barely, if any, Acknowledged Izuku. This is obviously disrespect. Izuku doesn't play that. This one sure as hell doesn't. So he pretty much just took all his shit, took whatever he offered them before, and split. Because they weren't going to get him a seat at the big boy's table. Hell, he'll do whatever he wants, however he wants. <laughs> Looks like we have another young Midoriya. What are you talking about, sir? Hmm. Who was this boy? I didn't take him seriously. But I should say he has been a thorn in my side at a young age. Really? And you think, no, no, he's dead. I teamed up with the Yakuza for one time, one time only. We conspired to kill him and split his territory and his men equally. But this, this man right here, this child, sorry. He seems to have the same spirit, but that's not possible, unless Yamadoria was training someone, or has someone under his belt, working with him. Besides, this quirk, I haven't seen anything like it, summoning a horse, Clones. Hmm. Very interesting. We may need to just take a microscope to this one. Find someone to watch over him. I can do it. What? Excuse me. Hell, I do it. Who's the target? Uh, twice. How did you get in here? Plot. Huh? Don't worry about it. Either way, yes, I can help. Do you need some dirt on this? What's his name? Roland. Right. Roland. Huh. Seems like he's having fun. I might need to be careful. Why? If he's that eager to kill regular villains, how do you think he's going to treat a spy, of all people? Huh. 
I guess you're your point. Is yeah, that's how that ends. Now, when it comes to the actual hmm, let's say sports festival, Izuku doesn't really participate because he honestly doesn't give a damn. Okay, then he's just providing cover for Momo just in case there are some assassination or kidnapation attempts. Which he is watching her like a hawk as well as just thinking about his next move. Trying to wonder, okay, I've gathered seemingly enough information to take down the Yagosus. That's good, very good. But what now? Hmm. I could try to slowly replace each and every one of his workers. Oh, I know. I've already been doing that. See, that's why you were... <sighs> starting to really tire me out. Luckily, they were corkless, or else that would be a whole new pain he has to deal with. Hmm. As, yes, Momo, she doesn't get first place. If anything, she did survive longer than people would really assume. Especially given her quirk. Only thing is, she is pissed as well as disappointed in herself. Thinking, like, I can't believe I lost. They have better quirk control and a better quirk. The only way you can actually beat them is if you got better. You think so? Yeah, I do. Hey, uh, what kind of ammunition do your guns use? Energy. No, seriously. I am serious. I could also change some properties. Can I see? What? Can I see one? Her just looking is I really don't want you to touch these. They're special. At least to me they are. Well uh uh I'll I can try making you something else. Uh. Hmm. I, there's nothing you can make. Um. Be as special as these guns to me. <laughs> I feel like I've been challenged. Hmm. Well, it doesn't matter. Hmm. Hmm. Really? So you say. As, yeah. Mo is notably getting more and more into Izuku. Izuku pretty much tries, like, okay, nope, nope, nope. Just, I don't care. I got I got some more important things to do than entertain you right now. So, Yuzuku, because of the internship, he's actually with Momo. And you can imagine, yeah, her being a Yairozu is highly difficult. But... She looks not bad. Uh, at least, as far as I can tell, she doesn't. Him actually getting a better look at. Oh no! Nope, 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 nope. I'm, I'm not doing it. Nope. <clears throat> 
I, I'm not falling for. Nope, that's that's stupid. It's too much. It's too much. Him trying his best, just is like, nope, this is business. This is not pleasure. But still, he can't help this feeling, and he feels a sinking, a very worrisome feeling right down below his groin as he knows his oh my god wait that's right toga toga wants my jewels too you see i give them to her the regular way or she goes in her way chances are i am going to lose them or i'm going to be using them more often than i anticipated yeah tough call yeah why did I have to promise her that she'd be one of my baby mamas? Oh yeah, because she would castrate me then and there. Well, let's get to the whole force training. When it comes to that, it's pretty much... Uh, oh well. Until Izuku does actually... Th feel like something is off as he does start to notice like someone is watching and yes it is actually twice it's like what are you doing here Jen oh I'm here to spy on you you suck at spying on people you could have at least oh no I've been spying on you for months what? Oh, yeah. They want to know more about you. Who is this they? Mm, all for one and pretty much uh, the League of Villains. Why? If anything, because uh, you, Roland, they s see you very... Uh, very close resemblance to one but Izuku Midoriya. Hmm. Hmm. So, wait. All for one? Why does that sound familiar? Yeah, he also has this kid with him, uh, Shigaraki Tomura. Shigar Shigaraki. That's why I remember him from. Yeah, he was one of those people at the sit down. Oh, that's some bitch. There's no way in hell. The <sighs> Maybe it is. If anything, if he wants to know more about me, what does he need to know? Was he? <sighs> if anything, he wants to know your relationship between, you know, Izuku. So... Okay, that makes sense. I must have used my old fighting style when I was at the USJ. That... And at the Nomu attack. Right. And your bloodlust when it comes to fighting and killing. Yeah, that, that would ra raise some red flags too. As he has twice he's still going on and on to all the old habits Izuku has. That he's mistakenly started to let bleed through his new persona. You, oh, I'm such an idiot. Your words, not mine. Okay, so now I know why you're here. That was Toga. Oh, she's a bit pissed. Why? Because she feels as though you're not paying her enough attention. 
you're spending a little too much time with us. Yeah, you're a zoo girl. Hey, it's not my fault. Room and board was included in the package. I mean, this this girl is my employer, so if anything, yeah, I suggest you speed your plan along. Uh, you're right. If anything, I just gotta replace a few more people amongst the Irozu organization and have them just disperse in between the ranks of everyone else involved. Which, yes, I can conclude that the League of Villains and the Yakuza have something to do with it. The only thing is, I don't get. I just don't understand it. What? Well, why would Mr. Iroze be in bed with them? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, he has been a... If anything, he seems like a well enough father and husband. Yeah. Wait, wait a minute. Now that I think about it, I haven't seen Miss Yairozu at all. What? Yeah. I mean, though, yes, she does get named dropped from time to time. I never truly see her. I haven't met her at all. First I thought, oh, okay, maybe she's busy too, but considering everything, it's kind of... I'm just starting to realize how weird that is. Do you really think it's that strange? Yeah, it kind of is. I mean, in all seriousness, why wouldn't she be at home at least a little bit? Don't you think? Hmm. So you think the villains might have Miss Yagirozu somewhere? Not sure where, but... Huh. <laughs> She's not at home, well I can tell. And yes, Izuku, he just starts thinking, okay, let me confirm with Momo. See if she's seen her mom and, and any, uh, as Pawn, Pawn really asking. He can see the pain that Momo is like, trying to hide. Like, yeah, I haven't seen her in a while, but... Dad uh, assures us that he's she's fine. She just overseas doing some work. Yep, that clinches it. Something's wrong here. As our Mr. Yagozu isn't a bastard who had me killed. If anything, he has no choice because of his wife kidnapping. Or at least... The fact that she's not home pretty much in the case that either they have her a part of somehow, they have her as a hostage, you know, the usual shit. So, what do you want to do? Well, we don't really have much of a choice. Probably find her and rescue her, pretty much. Seriously? Yep, but sadly, you are going to have to stay completely anonymous. You are not allowed to help me. At all. What? what? Sorry. You're not allowed to help. But at the very least, you can uh, cheer me on within your mind. That's, that's not very nice. I'm sorry twice, but I can't risk you blowing your cover. <laughs> Very well, Hisuku. Uh, <coughs> I mean, Roland. Very well. As, yes, twice leaves, collecting whatever information he can. At least, 
whatever information Yuzuku is willing to give him, as the string arc goes as it was supposed to go in canon instead of the attack. Now, since there is no awful one versus all might fight, luckily, everything is pretty much going as it should have in canon. Only thing is, Izuku is more. Wow, I may have to end up another rescuing of a Yairozu woman. Ain't that a bitch? Oh well. Hopefully, Toga can understand why I'm doing this and not try to castrate me. I can only hope. Which is somewhat. What goes on goes on. The only thing is she's pretty much like, okay, so you don't have to knock one up. Not yet. Really? Yeah. As uh, so how's uh you know, she and Koski are doing fine. If anything, they're just wondering when you're going to be back. They haven't seen Masaru in a few days. And what about Mom? She's more like, yeah, she's pretty much a little bit all over the place. First you leave again, then Hazashi's gone. He's like, wait, you did something, didn't you? <laughs> what did you... What, did, did you do something? <laughs> I did. As, yes, we have another flashback in which Masaru and Hazashi, not to mention Izuku's whole crew that betrayed him, has pretty much been relocated via some special orders from up high. And let's just say they're enjoying their confined spaces for the moment. At least, until Izuku's done with his little revenge plot. Because now that he knows about the Yakuza. Now that he realizes that yes this all for one bastard had a hand in his early demise it's almost time for the end game for him. All he has to do is pretty much let it be known of who fucked up everything at least that would be it at least in Izuku's mind in his original plan the only thing is he has to possibly save Miss Yayurozu from whoever's got her captive so he has to draw another plan find out where she is find out how uh, to get her out and then get the Ayurus on his side. Then the grand reveal and he blows some shit up. Easy. Right? Easy. No, nothing, nothing to worry about. Great, great, great. One thing is, he's still like, okay, so I'm going to need even higher clearance. I'm going to need even more clones. If anything, I'm probably going to have to make some of these guards and whatnot quit so I can disperse the clones and possibly going to have to kill the poor bastard who I ended up kidnapping to make this all work. So much to do, so little time. As though he is thinking about, okay, so how, who should be uh, resigning first? Twice giving for one all the information that he's gathered, he still feels as though like something's missing. Like 
yes, though some there is a a notable resemblance. It's not when it comes to this Roland guy. It's not like he's copying Izuku Midoriya. It's like he is Izuku Midoriya. And what she actually realizes, like, what if this guy could shapeshift? <laughs>